Hello everyone, uh, my name is Samantha Groves and I am the project manager here at OWASP. Welcome to today's OWASP webinar. We will be discussing the organization's global marketing strategy today. Uh, this presentation is brought to you by SisterWorks Publishing. They are the marketing company responsible for conducting our brand research, our marketing recommendations, and also the implementation of our strategy. Ms. Danita Morris, who is the President and CEO of SisterWorks, unfortunately cannot be here today, so I will be giving the presentation on her behalf. And I would just like to start by explaining that our current marketing plan with SisterWorks is separated into three phases. The first phase was the research phase, the second phase is the recommendations phase, and the third phase is the implementations phase. So this is where we'll be focusing our presentation today, on the second phase of our plan. And with that being said, let's just get started with the presentation. So we, before we get started with the recommendations, I'm sorry, the marketing team just wanted to give a bit of background on their research findings. Uh, for those of you who are new to our marketing initiatives, this is just a bit of background of what they did in the first phase. So the research phase of our plan was important for our understanding of the current state of OWASP brand recognition, the marketing activities, the return of investment to those marketing activities, and the engagement levels of the community. Uh, what we learned was that our community was highly engaged with the majority of our members being security professionals looking to grow their skills or to mentor newcomers. Additionally, we learned that high-tech jobs are on the rise, at least in the USA, and this is a great opportunity for growth in membership numbers for OWASP. Now, the majority of our new members are entry-level to mid-level professionals looking to network and expand in the field, and also that our members prefer honesty and a direct approach to information rather than having it be sugar-coated or fluffed up. Now we'll move on to the recommendations. Um, just to start off, I want to discuss our priorities, um, goals, and terms based on our research findings as well. Um, our priorities as an organization are security, openness, membership, and global community. Uh, those are the things that OWASP holds as most important for its members, its staff, its board, etc., the rest of the members of our community. Our goals as an organization are to educate our members of the value of openness and security-related resources, to engage our new audiences and to encourage global collaboration within our community. This can involve chapters, projects, you know, members, different regions, the list goes on really, all of the members in our community. And I just want to explain this graphic a bit too because it can be a bit confusing. Uh, the filled in bubbles are where OWASP currently is focusing its marketing, the communications and outreach activities. Uh, the bubbles with the dotted outline are where the marketing company sees potential to engage in. Now, as you can see, we are great on organic search, our wiki, our podcasts, blogs, banner ads, emails, events, trade shows, etc. But there is much more we can be doing to engage our audience using these different marketing channels. Okay, now let's move on to our short-term recommendations. Now, the short-term recommendations have a deadline of six months from the starting point of the plan. Uh, Danita has kindly broken down a series of tactics we can use during our first six months of implementation, and they are organized based on the goal they can help us reach. Now, the first goal is to educate our members and the community about open, free security-related resources. SisterWorks recommends we highlight and update the membership content on our blog and our wiki, and they recommend to create a segmented and more targeted membership emails that focus on the benefits of membership with OWASP, and also to create a membership module and to create a retention email marketing strategy that prioritizes our members. Now, the second set of tactics involves our second goal, which is to engage new audiences and drive our membership growth and retention. SisterWorks recommends that we group our project content by subject matter, which is in the works. Uh, they also recommend creating a printed recruitment brochure and web page, and to supplement our social media accounts and brand them as well. They also recommend that we keep up-to-date content, 
to develop a recruitment email, to send to potential members, and to create branded materials such as banners, business cards, and kind of give an update of the branded materials that we currently have as well. Now this last set of short-term recommendations involve the third goal, which is to encourage global collaboration across the whole OWASP community. SisterWorks recommends to share OWASP brand style guide across all of our chapters to encourage a consistent visual identity worldwide. They also recommend developing a sharing plan to collaborate online with all of our chapters and to find out if our membership is collaborating globally with surveys and by highlighting the work of global collaboration between chapters, between projects, and different regions. So this next set of recommendations involves our midterm marketing plan. These are the items they recommend we initiate between 6 to 12 months of starting our marketing activities. Uh, once again, these recommendations are attached to our three original goals. And this set of midterm tactics coincide with our first midterm goal on this slide. SisterWorks recommends that we automate a renewal campaign every six months for our members. And that can be email-based or print-based, you know, it depends on what we want to do. And they also recommend we highlight why membership matters to our members. And to use a software called Hootsuite, which is really amazing actually, I tested it out this week. Uh, it consolidates all of your social media campaigns, and this will help us manage all of our uh, different accounts that we currently have, and of course the campaigns, if we want to do membership campaigns, if we want to do fundraising campaigns, this uh, application will help us manage all of those different bits. Uh, SisterWorks also recommends we create a digital communications guideline for our chapters and for our projects, and to offer premiums when members join as well. Now the second set of midterm recommendations involves our second goal. These tactics are aimed at engaging new audiences and to drive our membership growth and retention. SisterWorks does recommend that we create a marketing microsite that we can monitor more closely than we can with a wiki. And they also recommend we create editorials and develop a kind of schedule to push out this information to our community to create consistency. Brand awareness assets have been a major issue for us as well. Uh, SisterWorks encourages us to create a set that we can share amongst all of our members, our project leaders, and our chapter leaders to everyone within the organization. They also encourage us to review our membership options and to use Google Analytics when having membership drives to gather information on the return of investment, on investment, I'm sorry, of our activities. The last set of midterm recommendations involves the third goal, which is to encourage global collaboration. SisterWorks recommends we highlight community sharing, create a landing page that highlights our community interactions, and to create a yearly innovation fund that awards cross-collaboration within the community as well. And now let's move on to the long-term recommendations. Uh, these recommendations are recommended that we engage in after 12 months of starting our initial marketing initiatives and activities. So again, our first tactic, help us reach our first goal, which involves the education of the members. Uh, SisterWorks recommends we expand our email platforms and expand our premiums to include tracking of our high engagers in our chapters. Uh, the next set of tactics involves the second goal, which is to engage the new audiences. Um, SisterWorks recommends we host an online marketing sweepstakes or innovation drive to build our email list. They recommend we add membership incentives and to distribute our brand awareness across all of, glo all of our global divisions. And they also recommend we focus on updating our education's roadmap. The last set of tactics now involves the third OS goal, which is to encourage global collaboration across the community, as we mentioned before. Now, the SisterWorks team recommends that we integrate all of our social tools to increase relevance, engagement, and awareness. This also helps us, hopefully, to create a consistent message throughout all of our constituency and our community.
Now this next slide has a bit more information on some of the tactics. Uh, Sister Works has recommended to us. They just wanted to describe their recommendations in a bit more detail as I feel these are uh, a very important tactic that we should really consider as an organization. Now number one includes recruitment materials. Uh, Sister Works staff wanted to elaborate on the contents of this recruitment folder. Excuse me, they recommended we design a welcome message, some membership sheets, an infographic, an about us page, etc. Pardon. Uh, this information will be given to those interested in membership with OWASP. And as you can see, there's different bits and pieces, inserts and leaflets within this folder. And of course, it's customizable as well. Now, number two includes the education roadmap in a bit more detail. Um, Sister Works recommends we target the mobile industry and use our mobile security project to promote this initiative. They also recommend we use a bit, sort of a badge program to increase our membership growth and to enhance the corporate knowledge of OWASP. Not within the organization itself, but OWASP. So if our test is a continuation of the previous slide, if our test of the mobile industry demonstrates an interest, um, Sister Watch recommends we review a few partnership, partnerships with Mozilla and MIT, perhaps offer free education on a robust platform and use the badge program to offer unique incentives to our members. And they also recommend we use analytics to measure and learn from our members and corporate partners as well. Now the next recommendation involves social media. Sister Works recommends we use analytics to measure our brand awareness and they also recommend we develop brand assets to promote our brand and to complete an annual update of our wiki page. Now the importance of this is measurement. Uh, we should measure our return on investment with these analytics tools and Sister Works kindly put down best practices of how we can do that, how we can best do that as an organization. Now this slide is again a continuation of the social media initiative. Um, according to Sister Works, we should evaluate who our high engagers are and what keywords engage our audiences for our campaigns. Uh, we must also keep in mind that keywords engage our groups all over the social media sphere when developing our digital campaigns and even our print campaigns as well. The communication of the pieces is very important, not just the graphics. Now the next slide, recommendation four, has to do with the marketing microsite. Uh, Sister Works does recommend that we develop a microsite devoted to promotion and distribution of our materials to our members and to potential members. Now as we know, the wiki page can be a little bit disorganized and what they're recommended is to create a site that we can send people to where they can easily find this information and that links back into the wiki. Uh, this will also allow us to customize a message sent to our potential members and it will allow us to measure our retention rate among our potential customers and viewers and members as well. Now this fifth option involves membership options and audience incentives. Uh, this initiative involves adding levels and options that can encourage higher engagement uh, Sister Works recommends we evaluate our membership fee and corporate membership fee as well, and they suggest trying these new membership levels, uh, several different incentives, and perhaps premiums too. Now the next recommendation involves the social hub. Uh, Sister Works recommends having a landing page that will reach all of our communities and social media accounts. This will also help members in the community engage with other members and individuals within the OWAS Foundation. So essentially what this is is a web page and of course there's some examples there and we'll post this presentation up so you can have a closer look in detail of each bit of these, of all the recommendations. Uh, but what this is is a website where all of our project leaders, all of our chapter leaders and 
the accounts of the OWASP Foundation in general will be posted so there's one easily accessible place where they can reach any project leader or any chapter around the world through their social media accounts. Moving on to 26. So the last recommendation involves the Innovation Fund. Uh, Sister Works advises that we should incentivize and reward innovation and cross-collaboration between regions. And some of the criteria that they suggested as a starting point would be to you know, incentivize and reward the cross-collaboration between chapters, projects, projects that support the OWASP mission and values and our strategic priorities, and also that have clearly defined roadmaps, as we call them, and timelines for project completion. And the incentive, of course, is up to us as well. They do recommend that we perhaps do $500 to $1,000 award, but that's really up to you know, the, the community what they would like to see. Now, this next slide illustrates the different tactics separated into marketing channels and segmented between short-term, mid-term, and long-term objectives. And I will let you have a look at this in more detail again when we post this presentation. And you can always come back to me, send me an email, give me a call um, to see if you have any questions or concerns about any of this. I know it's not necessarily self-explanatory, but you know we're, we're available to answer any questions with this. But essentially, just to give a brief explanation, the channels are different marketing ways that you can market your product or the different projects or chapters that we currently have, um, and the short-term, mid-term, and long-term, as it is in the second page as well, is how long or when you should be taking part in these initiatives. And now just our final thoughts as well on this. Uh, this next slide just illustrates the return on investment for several of our initiatives. As you can see, for example, the email marketing has a return on increased traffic, community engagement, and brand building. Guest blogging, for example, increases search ranking on our website. All of these initiatives have different return on investment properties, and it is important to point out that not all ROI should involve monetary return. Brand growth and community engagement are just as valuable to us in our marketing initiatives and activities. And here's just a continuation of some of the different return on investment that we have, different types, and also the cost associated with them in general. Now, OWASP has many advantages, some of which include very successful ongoing initiatives, loyal volunteers, and a huge groundwork ready for future growth. It is important to prioritize, though, approve, and implement these recommendations if they help us meet our strategic goals. Now, implementing these recommendations will help enhance our foundation's awareness and help us engage our target audiences. So the next steps for us, um, or to get creative, really, and to start our digital initiatives and our print initiatives and to launch our campaigns and our microsites. And these will help us really test these recommendations both offline and online to see if they can help us, help us excuse me, of course, reach our strategic goals for 2013 and 2014. And that's it for our presentation today. Uh, please do raise your hand if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to answer any questions and address any concerns or comments. Thank you. Is there any questions? <clears throat> Don't see any questions. No. I do have a question for the, the audience, if they wouldn't mind answering. What would they like to see? What did they see that was missing from these recommendations that SisterWorks has given us? Is there anything you'd like to see that isn't there? Maybe we can include a poll in the uh, next connector on yes. on this information and ask for 
some more feedback before we jump feet first into all these recommendations. Of course, this is a really robust list of recommendations and there's a lot involved as you can see it's you know one to six months six to twelve months and twelve months and beyond so there's quite a bit of work involved here and we want to make sure that we gather this information and make sure that we get as much of what you know meet all of your needs marketing wise for the community so it'd be great to have it on the connector and get some feedback from the community as well so if no one has any questions, then I suppose, Kate, shall we call the webinar? I believe so. Thank you for joining. Thank you. You guys have a great day.